Where are we, Nathan? Uh, that's a good question. Where are we, Jeff? Snowdonia. The foot of Snowden, actually. The foot of Snowden. One of the feet. The Ranger's Path. Going up the Ranger's Path, coming down the Red Dew. Bit of a panic on about the parking ticket. Yeah, got to pay for a bus later, aren't you? <laughs> but, yeah. notes. Just didn't have any change for the meter. No. This is it then, boy. The first real summit. The summit. Of summit or nothing. Well, there's... Uh, Everyone else seems to be going up with hardly any equipment. Uh, we might be a little bit over-equipped. Might get quite heavy, might get quite hot. It might turn out to be a nothing yet. So... Uh, oh, we'll get up there. Even if we just need to ditch our bags and pick them up on the way back. Yeah, sweet. Let's go and get somewhere where we can start to see where we, what, what we, we face. <laughs> So this is the first of our mounding real taster of what we're getting ourselves into. From what I hear about Snowden as well, is that when you get up to the summit, it's like being at a rock concert. There's thousands of people queuing to touch the trigger point at the top, which for us is going to be quite surreal because We've been doing Dartmoor and we've been on our own. You get up to the summit and we'll stop there for dinner and have it to ourselves. But bearing in mind Snowden, there's a, a train that can take you up. There's a cafe at the top. It's quite a commercial mountain, a tourist hotspot. Getting some nice photos, Nathan. Got a fair old sweat on. Yeah. <laughs> Camera's as good as an excuse to stop as any. Exactly. There's the train station down there where we started. You couldn't get bored. No. Beauty, isn't it? Isn't it? Nice to find it here, man. Because, you know, it's like several years now. It's felt like a personal mission to get to Snowden. And every time relying on other people to sort of help motivate and actually get there. And then the fact that sort of earlier this year you were like, Oop. been watching some documentaries on Beltons, I would have got Beltons. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went up and done some Dartmoor and the next thing you know, you've booked Snowden, bank holiday weekend, we're doing it. And then there was so much other shit that was happening in my life between then and now, that it just seemed like a million miles away. And then all of a sudden, Friday, boom, it was here. We were packing, we were in the car, we were going. And now we're here, man, it is, is not disappointing. I mean, the views are absolutely fucking epic. It was painful going through the Italian-Swiss border when I went to Europe earlier in the year in a car because we just didn't have time to stop and admire taking the views, look at the mountains and soak it up. But oh, it's just made this even more worthwhile, like, you know? That up there is the summit. Barely see it up there. Fucking focus it in this light. Come closer. Hang on, there you go. We're here. So, yeah, that is the summit. So, we're not even a, yeah, we're about a fifth, aren't we? But it has been a zigzaggy path, hasn't it? It's, no, it's quite just under a fifth, I'd say. We're well on the way now. Um, Um, so it looks like we've done the easiest bit of this route at the moment. It seems to be all halved the whole way up. You can see the zigzags cutting up through. So although it's 3,000 feet up, it's uh, a lot better terrain than what we're used to on dark.
army of ants all working across the ridge. Yeah. Up to the, the summit. There seems to be a queue. It does look like a mass of people on the summit already. Loads going on up there, isn't there? Commercialisation, my friend. Yeah. It is horrendous. <laughs> We said we'd get to the top of the zigzags and stop for a bit of a bite. And that'll be about half eleven. We started at half nine. So I don't know how far up we are. This is hard going, this little this bit here. But this view more than makes up for it. When you look back over what we've walked, it looks it looks like a long old walk. It probably is a long old walk. But this bit up here, the zigzagging. That's been tough. That's so. That's probably the sheerest we've walked yet, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. There's been a few very short, like twenty-foot scrabbles or whatnot, and tours on Dartmoor and that. But yeah. this is the steepest, most consistent hike we've had to date, isn't it? I keep having to stop just to catch my bloody breath. <laughs> I haven't smoked for like over a month again, or well, more than that, really. I've had one fag, I think. Um, but you'd think I was, when I'm walking up here, it feels like I was smoking last night. It's not good. Yeah, I still need a bit of work, but it feels like I'm clearing my lungs out. It's all, they're getting an exercise that they haven't had before. So it's got to be good, isn't it? No pain, no gain. with his 20 years of exercise behind him, under his belt. I've been doing it for four months. I've been out once a month in that time. He's ploughing on and it's really taking ages to reach him. But it is a push and you do think, I can't keep stopping. And then you get that little bit further and you think, no, I've, I've got to stop. <sighs> Yeah, like he says, fanny. I'm a fanny. But I'm only try to spare you on, bud. Yeah, I know. One day, Nate, I'll be running up these mountains. Fell running next, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're doing next. Summit or nothing, and then fell running. <sighs> but um, as I keep saying, this you can just stop and take this in. That's why we're here, we're here to enjoy what we're doing, what we're seeing, 
Um, so let's just enjoy it. Don't matter if we're not up there in record time, does it, mate? No. Oh, good. <laughs> What's happening, Nate? Um. Well, we're gonna have a little stop, and we a bite to eat. Bit of a refuel. Thank goodness. Well, the worst part, so the steepest parts that we have to ascend, is zigzag, 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 and you're heading away from the peak, back to the peak, away from the peak, back to the peak, and it's kind of soul destroying. I think we've done all of that now. I think once we get around the crest of these rocks, it looks like it's a fairly straight run up to the peak then. Yeah. So uh, I think we've probably ascended two thirds of the height, you know, from what we've got to do today. But up here, beautiful views. Nice patch of grass to sit on and chill out for a bit. It's a breeze cooling us off as well, like you know. So stop and have a refill, wouldn't it, boy? Yes, please. Cup of coffee. Oh, good on. Booty. Water might be boiled, yeah, Let's have a brew then. Have a coffee, You don't get this many people up from Dartmoor. Good <laughs> you, Nath. It's just a constant stream of people. Everywhere you look, up on our route, over on that route. We always knew it's going to be busy on the bank holiday, didn't we, Nave? Oh. But you just didn't understand quite how busy. When we do Dartmoor, I like, I like the feeling that no one else is there. Like you know, it feels more wildernessy. Yeah. You know, like you're exploring. Yeah. Here we go, the final leg, I'm on the last leg, we uh, stop for a bit, get some energy in us, I feel I've just lost all that energy in the first, we only stopped there. Looks like the cover of World War Z. Get in there. <laughs> Is that a charity run or something? Yeah, cancer. The old, he's got the ump, but he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Still old, doing it. Look at this. All those mountains we was looking up at earlier, we're now looking down at. Summit's in view. Hordes of people. It's quite bizarre. It's like the day to the seaside and there's thousands of people there. Not like our Dartmoor. You didn't get this queuing up on High Willies or up on Great Links Tour.
make of it nice um yeah it's been absolutely amazing just um, a bit overpopulated if I'm honest uh, to me this isn't what the outdoors is about but you know it's an attraction I guess you can't get away from that it's like a theme park up here isn't it but hey we're here we're gonna summit let's get it done Queuing. I don't know your, your detail. It's alright, we're pretty good at this being British, you know. Just a slip in the That is the book. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. We're still in the queue. See the queues ever growing. We're going up there. Um, but it seems that now that people are queuing both sides. So it looks like everyone's making a good decision and coming up one route and going down the other. Every now and again you get a, you get a dickhead coming down here, knocking everyone out the way. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. But just savour the views. Savour these views. Look at them. Feet away. Hey. Feet away. Feet away from the summit. The summit. Why? I'm asking to take a little touch in a minute. He's done it. They've summited. Mini fist bump. I'm going to do the same. Summit. <laughs> Summit or nothing. Can we uh, go okay. and drink a rum now? Let's go and have a rum and coke. <laughs> well, summited. Summited. No nothings. No nothings today, even though I contemplated it a couple of times. <laughs> Celebrating with, don't show the label. Got, can't show the brand. A can of rum and coke, kindly donated to the Summit or Nothing team by my wife, Don Don. Also known as Base Camp. Cheers, Don Don at Base Camp. Cheers, Base Camp. To you. Cheese. Cheese. It's going to be good. It'll be nicer in a cold ice glass. We was going to ask in the cafe, but the queue for the cafe was worse for the queue, worse than the queue for the summit. There are so many people here. It's frightening. It is frightening. It's sickening the amount of people here. Oh, I had the same idea as 50,000 other people today. I know, I wonder how many people have been up here today. Just swarms of people. I think there's more people there now than there was earlier, but look at it up there. It looks like ants over sugar, doesn't it? Or something, you know? Yeah, I think the lesson learned is don't do a popular summit 
during a school holiday on a national bank on holiday. On a bank holiday weekend. Look, get my phone back. No, they're just showing off. <laughs> they had small bags. Yeah. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Have a nice rum and coke. Get some alcohol in us. A generic spiced molasses flavoured spirit with some form of cola flavoured soft drink. Yeah. Endorsed by a, a sea merchant. <laughs> Endorsed by the head of a seafaring vessel. <laughs> His name rhymes with organ. Clouded over. Yeah. We're uh, off the beach track. <laughs> we'll come down and follow the train track instead. We did contemplate turning down the Vidu path, but um, it took us so long to get up. My fault entirely. Hold my hands up. But yeah, we didn't want to get down there and then miss the bus back to our car and have to walk that as well. So we thought, let's just walk where we've come. But you can already feel you're moving at a better pace. Obviously, we're going down. What a relief it is to be going down for a change. But I guess that's the trouble with mountains. They're up. They're all up. It's hiking in there. It's always felt like such a, a personal thing. Nothing fucking personal about that whatsoever, was it? No. Well, it was like you know, three days ago. I was at Legoland with the family, and it felt like that. Yeah. <laughs> There's just nowhere to move. Queuing for the rides, and we're queuing for a summit. Not quite how I'd imagine it, but tomorrow's another day. We'll pick a quieter peak. Yep. I was warned. My mate, Mr. Paul Watts, Mr. Cornwall, he did tell me, he said it would be a surreal experience up on, up on Snowdon. He said you could go a route where you're all on your own, and then get up to the summit and all of a sudden there's thousands of people. Well, he wasn't wrong. Well, we're on level ground. The mountains in the background. That's what we what we conquered. The end of our journey. We're getting back down to the first little zigzaggy bit. We're getting off the level path. So this has been Snowdon. 
I'm getting down to the bottom. Journey's almost over. The plan was to do another mountain tomorrow. So far I'm not undeterred. See how I feel in the morning if I'm aching all over. But you know, I think I still would like to do another. See something else while we're up here. And I know Nate probably would. We've achieved something. We've achieved one of our three goals. And, uh, you know, once we've done all three of those goals, then we'll uh, aim to shift the goalposts. We need you people to keep watching us, egging us on, spurring us on. Leave your comments below. Let us know what have you done these walks? Which is your favourite walk up a Snowdon? Which is your favourite mountain in Snowdonia? Where's your uh, favourite mountain in the country? Or nothing here. Yeah. Where are we now? Uh, we're in the Lake District. Scaffold Pike. The second of the three big ones that we set ourselves originally when we first started. Yeah, yeah. it's the smallest of them. But looking up, and there is a lot of up. Yeah, lots of up. Still not mentally prepared for it. So um, we've not long set off. It's very steep already. It's a nice good quality path, but uh, it's already reminding both of us of thoughts from uh, Snowdon, where we were 200 yards in, contemplating have we bought too much. Yeah, so we've packed enough for a uh, wild camp, so we're walking quite heavy. I think one of the things that's doing us a favour at the minute is the fact that we can't actually see the top. We're just walking, it's not like we can see our overall goal and how high and far away it is. So. known as the brown tongue path. Easy now. Dirty boys. It's very picturesque. So there's a branch in the stream here. Yeah, a Y. Yeah. And there is on the ground. Yeah. And we need to cross over following the brown tongue path and then we need to stick left. So I'd say we are most definitely at this crossing point. There's people everywhere. It's absolutely thieving down here. Everyone's coming down. So how many people got up there first thing this morning? Bumped into two girls on their way back down. I said, you must have got up early. They said they done Ben Nevis last night. They've hit a wall. They're doing Snowden in a minute. Good on you. I've hit a wall and I've walked halfway up. <laughs> I'm mountain. So we're sat right opposite Black Crag on the path. And we're following the the brown tongue path up a bushy crevasse, my knife. Just, that's entirely true. It just sounded <coughs> filthy. In a minute, we're going to get to this fork in the road. We can either go right and up to Scarfield that way, and we can go left and up to Scarfield that way. Or we could sum it or nothing it and just balls up going right up the middle. <coughs> Both routes don't entirely avoid a scrabble. A scrabble. I figure looking at the contour lines of the map, that we are somewhere between 500 and 550 metres. And what have we got? 900 all told? Nine, seven, eight. So, just over halfway. 
Yeah. Height wise. Height wise. We're further than halfway distance wise. Way further. It's a but bigger climb. Lots of up. So we've reached the fork in the path now. Opposite Black Crag. Time to make a decision, mate. Left or right? Well, we're on this path. Well, that's only like six foot away. <laughs> what did it look like on the map? Summit or nothing? Yeah, I've never been here before. They both lead to the same place. Right or left? Left. Left it is, boy. Yeah, I think you're right. Since we took the left hand path, it's not as distinct and having had the trouble we had on Triffin. Sort of obviously that makes makes it a little bit concerning, but there's uh, I think they're called cairns, are they? Cairns? Cairns. cairns. So these little piles of stone seem to crop up everywhere where the path looks like it's getting a bit vague. When you follow these cairns, it, the path does seem to sort of emerge again, like you know. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Some nice views here, the sun has broken through in places. Now and then again this clears up here, you can see like a big point up there. But I've definitely made a vast improvement from Snowden last year, but I've got to keep stopping for breath. But I'm enjoying it, it's exhilarating. Now the clouds are lifting, the views, I mean this is what we're here for. Again, there's a lot of people on this mountain and you can't help feel kind of embarrassed when you're stopping and everyone is overtaking you. But then we are carrying about four times as much weight as they are. We're almost there. Must be the summit up there. The uh, cloud keeps clearing and letting some bright sunshine through and it gets really hot and when the cloud comes back it gets cold but my god absolutely breathtaking every which way you turn we haven't even got to the top yet quick and heavy. Apparently there's a clear spill between 11 and 1. So it might be just as we up at the summit we might have a nice nice view. We're at that level now where we're up above other mountains. We was looking at this mountain over here. I think we're gonna have a look on that later. It's taking that one then over to that little one. So I think that's gonna be our circular route today. I thought I could see the summit, but now I've got up here. Oh look, there's more, there's more climbing to do. 
it's all right. But beautiful views like this. You're allowed to stop every two minutes and take it in. It'd be rude not to. I thought there we go, the summit again. But look, even more. That looks like it. Because everyone's gathering in at one point. Oh, it's a slog. Literally meters away. Meters away. Oh, I'm about ready to collapse. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. After you, sir. Ready? Yeah. in or nothing! In the late district. <laughs> in the late district. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> cool. Right. We're going for it. My minute. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. In the Lake District. <laughs> In the Lake District. Scaffold Pike, thanks for having us. We're gonna go, where is it, Ling Mel? I think we're gonna have a look over that way. Take that route back. I doubt we're gonna do a wild camp. We're thinking it would be nice to get back to the campsite, shower, go out to a pub, have a meal. So where are we going? There. Oh yeah, more up. It's nice to be away from constant stream of people for a minute because a the path was too small to keep having to get over for everyone and b i'm absolutely busting for a piss <sighs> that was better than i thought it was going to be <sighs> that's right wasn't it yeah Three, two, one. Summit or nothing! In the Lake District. In the Lake District. <laughs> Two more views to have a look at from here. Minutes. That's how long that took. Ling Mel, you're nothing. Loving it. So you get a better view of Scarfield Pike from here. You couldn't see it until you was on it. Gotta take in these views. There are definitely some impressive mountains around that look much prettier than uh, Scarfell. So after a ridiculously long drive yesterday, 11 hours in a car, stuck in traffic, we made it to the Lake District. And now I find myself surrounded by nothing but peace and quiet with a little bit of a breeze basking in intermittent sunshine whilst enjoying the views perched on the side of a mountain. This is what it's all about. Whoa, what's that 
had come in, there was no stopping it. That's Scaffold Pike over there. We wouldn't know it. Well, hopefully, we'll find the wall and then cross it where there's a significant path. And then we just follow that path down here. That's what kind of what I'm hoping. You reckon we this side? Yeah, we've been here. The wall was, you could see the wall was down here from where we was. <laughs> this in front of us is Goat's Crag. We've descended too soon. From Ling Metal going that way, there's no other big mass of stone that could be mistaken for a crag. It has to be this we're, crag. We're not looking at all these stones. No, because look, if you already take the mump compass, yeah, we're marching due. Du du du. What the f? Yeah, that's why we haven't crossed the wall then. We're heading due north. We must be here somewhere, looking at the side of the Ling Mel crag. Look at that wall of rock around there. <laughs> so don't follow me. Sure. Shit happens, doesn't it? Well, we were meant to be heading. West, when we looked at the compass, when we stopped, it was like, nah, that can't be right, this is we're heading due north. And we were. Oh, right, that's just going to take us off the side of a great mountain. Let's change course, shall we? This must be Goat's Crag, there's a goat. It's, uh, amazing how easy that happens. As soon as that cloud comes, we end up lost. He's found the wall. Hooray! Probably good news for a guy with two busted boots, yeah? Yeah. It's hard to think my foot was getting a bit wet. See that? I can walk in my Nikes, can't I? I was going to say, I've got Crocs you can buy for tomorrow if you want. Buy a Crocs? Yeah, I've got... I'd never wear Crocs. What are you trying to say? Never wear Crocs. Just for a walk around the lake? No. <laughs> Be all right, will it? No, as long as we can get back before my heel completely falls off. Yeah. He's walking up there now. We live down there. This is a joke. We're from going back again, but we was walking over there, and now we think we've passed the path. You look down there, it's like a sheer drop. My boots ain't gonna hold up much more. It's pissing me off a bit. I hate mist. On fair weather, Nike, off mist, you're doing my head in. Oh, here's a path. Hopefully, my boots will get me down there. It's opened up now. Here we go. Where we're heading. And if you look down there, you can see there's a wall. Yeah. Or that field wall. Looks like it's got a sty over it, so I'm guessing this path's going to take us down there and just follows the hill down until we almost join the uh, Brown Tongue Path. Yeah. Well, that was shit terrain. F***ing path. It's just like f***ing sliding stones. I went over about four times. Getting grumpy. I'm having a lovely time, though. Get in there now. That was a nightmare coming down there. And they shouted back to me as he got over the sty. That was a terrible up. I have to agree with him. <laughs> Especially when the soles of your feet are falling off. Oh, if we didn't laugh. I thought this sty looked close, but it's just f***ing huge. It's like a giant sty. I kept thinking, oh, we're nearly there, nearly there for ages. We wasn't, it just throws your perspective. No, well, yeah. thank you ever so much for watching. Please tell your friends about us. We're awesome, aren't we? You all right, aren't we? the Scottish mountain. Oh, are we? Where are we? Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben's rice. No, Uncle Ben is dead. He died. Did you know that? Did he? Yeah. No more Mr. Rice guy. <laughs> we were here at the foot of Ben Nevis. We stayed there. Right at the foot of the pony path. So we're doing the like, pony path, or as some people refer to it, the flip flop. The flip flop route. I'm guessing that's because the weather's nicer. 
It's got to be something to do with that. It's nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Because we packed and unpacked and packed and unpacked and packed. We got and our unpacked. day packs, but what's happened is we've managed to cram everything from our night packs into, into our day packs. Yeah, and then stuck stuff on the outside. It's been a bit of a nightmare this morning, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> reminds me of the time we drank a copious amount of rum before going up Sorton. But we're here now. We're starting. It's a long climb. It's a zigzaggy, monotonous route, but it's ticking off one more, isn't it, Nate? Yeah. The big three done after today. We hope. We're on the shallow part of the uh, slope and then you keep looking up to the left into the cloud and you know that there's no way it can remain this gentle and gradual for long because sooner or later we've got to get somewhere up there but at the moment it's nice it's like a leisurely stroll with some spectacular scenery what I'd like is to get to the summit and be above some cloud but we'll see does seem to be lifting above us so you never know we might reach a summit and get the views that'd be nice so at the moment it's uh, quite warm it's dry at least it's a steady climb but busy very busy route we knew it was going to be Busy there, you can chock a block, but now we're getting higher, it's getting cooler. It's not getting any easier though. I don't know if it's sitting in a car for 12 hours yesterday to get here, but my legs are almost cramping up down there. I've never had that before, so that was a first. Feeling the burn now. Look, whether it's our day packs or our stamina, or both, we seem to be sort of overtaking more people than people overtake us. Which is unheard of for yeah. a summit and nothing mountain adventure, innit? Isn't it? Isn't it? Although uh, we have stopped and they're all walking past us. Yeah, they are now. Stopped to film. Really warm sweating a lot but making good progress we're just starting to get to a point now where in the next sort of 20 minutes half hour if it doesn't keep rising we're going to start entering the cloud hopefully it's going to cool off uh, it's a job to know what to wear because the temperature is going to drop right off at the top but at the same time you don't want to wear too much here because it's so warm down the bottom as i was saying about stamina I got to that point where i feel like i need to stop every two minutes <laughs> Yeah, but it was definitely significantly further up the mountain before that happened. Yeah, it's getting hard. I was sweating buckets. And it's getting colder as well. So, that's it's good. good. The water consumption will die down the higher we get. Worst case scenario, we've got our stoves, so we could actually collect water from the stream and boil it before we drink it anyway. Yeah. We've covered every base, haven't we? We have. What's going on, Trev? You've got wetness of the pack. Yeah. How come? I think uh, my chamomile pack isn't suitable for this. What do you need? I need a pack with airflow, please. From anyone in particular, would you like? Anyone. <laughs> well, Berrigals, no Alpine, Offspray. Yeah, any one of them. Any of the big like boys. To sponsor us and send me one of your packs to test out. Or a lesser company that might be trying to get known. Yeah, for an airflow pack you'd like us to test. I'd love to test it. What sort of size? 25? 30, 35, something like that. Start with. Cool. Not asking too much. No. 
It feels like we're on a, a pilgrimage and amongst all these people. We chose this route, so we knew it was going to be the busy route. You just got to accept it, get on with it. But the views keep opening up. I see for miles, I think. So we're on this section here, on this sharp left hairpin, and it swings up round to the right, and eventually it will lead up to this T-junction. And what we're thinking is at that T-junction, we've got to turn right anyway, and there seems to be sort of a like little, sort of lesser trod path that's a shortcut up to the main path, which might cut out some of the traffic temporarily and get us there a little bit quicker. So we're thinking about potentially taking that route, aren't we? Yeah, we do that, shall we? Yeah. Let's head that way. Not convinced this was the easier route. It's quite chill at the ground. It's hard work. It's very steep. It's been a, an additional challenge off the beaten track. But looking back at the area we missed over here, nice and level, easy footing. So right, it's an adventure, isn't it? So this is the pony track that we've been following. Now this was put in place. I think at the turn of the century before last to help bring stuff up to build the weather observatory which ran for 20 years 1883 to 1904 it ran and a group of people lived up there and it was uh, shut down to a lack of funding Knife's ordered a book about it so that'll be an interesting read called 20 years on the Ben," and it tells the story of these people up there not just at work but how they played had their own toboggan races and little mini winter olympics Getting up to that point now where you're starting to look level at all these mountains you was looking up at. And in a minute we'll be looking down on them all. <sighs> ah, the path. Entirely sure that water's all right to drink, but each to their own, I suppose. Oh, cutting out that area did make a lot of difference. It looked hard to work. Back on the path, on the steps. I mean, we're just about to approach the zigzag area, which I'm sure is going to be laborious. The cloud sort of ebbing and flowing. One minute we're out in the clear, six minutes a bit murky, but it's a lot cooler at the moment. Isn't there? Uh, no, no, Clouds coming in, but getting hotter still. Put my fleece on because it was cold and now sweating buckets. Keep going. We're well on the zigzags now. I'm questioning the uh, accuracy of the view ranger at the moment. 
It's the same we've done for six and a half miles. We're not even halfway through the zigzags. It might be since I've got a new phone, which means that a lot of my recent hikes may not be accurate because we do seem to have done a lot more miles than we used to, which I was impressed with at first. But now I'm wondering if that's not a mistake. Look at this. Right, Nate. Oh, oh. Enjoying yourself? Yes. Easy, isn't it? Yes. It's good. It's good. It's a long walk. Yeah. More up. More zigzags. But we keep getting sport with the views, don't we? We're up above now, aren't we, Nate? Oh, yeah. Some places we're up above the clouds. When you walk in here, uh, go past groups of people, you hear snippets of their conversations. And I just heard one lady say to her friend that if I didn't eat meat, I could easily be a vegetarian. That's the clincher there, isn't it, for whether you're a vegetarian or not, whether you will or will not eat meat. And when you see the quantity of people who do this, I'm not having a moan. I'm just saying it makes what we're doing seem quite in insignificant. I mean, everyone's doing it. A lot of people doing the Three Peaks Challenge, all in 24 hours or close to. A lot of people putting themselves out of their comfort zone to do this for charity. I mean, you see pensioners do it, children, and it. It's not a big deal what we do, but for me, it's, it is, because it's personal to me. I have never done this sort of thing. I'm sure some avid hikers watch what we're doing in our videos. I think, you don't know that, mate. But to us, it's, we're getting out, we're doing these things, challenging ourselves, and we're having fun at the end of the day. That's what it's about. Having fun, experiencing new things and taking in the views. Really is, final push now. Very nearly there. We've passed the zigzags. I'm just getting out of them now. There. I can see like ants creeping off in the distance. A bit further. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. We're high enough up a mountain for the first time in our summit or nothing history to have encountered snow in late July in the hottest summer we've had in, in England for f***ing seven or eight years. Or well, the United Kingdom, because we're not in England. We're in Scotland, aren't we, Trev? Yeah. What's that about? That's impressive, isn't it? Do you know what they say? When it's, when it's still on the ground, there's more to come down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, that's the same, mate. Yeah. I thought it was only make snow cones out of yellow snow. Something like that, something to do with yellow snow and snow cones, isn't it? Yeah, the consumption of yellow snow cones is best done... Properly. Wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to commit. Um, yeah. Snow. Snow. <laughs> That better not be a full summit up there.
And we got a summit. You can see the little observatory over there. Little ramshackle thing. Monumentous. Isn't it? We've only gone and ruddy done it. Well, no, let's get on the path. Yeah. <laughs> Ankle snapping. Done so well, and then summon and nothing bit over the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think the more and more me and Trev do this, the more and more we're becoming the same person. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're swapping personalities. Because this weekend, it's been uncanny how much we've just been there, we've fought to the same time. Oh, it's weird. You know, sometimes it's like, like a fraction of a second difference, but that was, that couldn't have been any more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where we, we, now we're going to turn into each other. It's like the fly. It's metamorphosizing. Mm. Oh, anyway, he's eating. This is it. Look at that. Look at the booze. Have you seen them? Have you seen the booze on them? We've just been sitting here taking this in for a while. Got ever so cold very quick. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually going to put my jacket on. We didn't do too bad, really. Stopping fair, but not half as much as we used to. Since we've got up in a good time. We've seen some wounded looking souls on the way up, though, haven't we? <laughs> yes. And then other people just running past us. Yeah. I never Very. get it. Running from Is that what you say about running? Shh. It is quite cold, isn't it? It is cold. Should we go and have a look at some things? And some stuff? And stuff, and then we'll have our celebratory G&T. Celebratory G&T? And then the trek down again, isn't it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tickled me. <laughs> Someone on the We're not shouting. We're not going to shout, no, we won't holler it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Cracking. Happy days. Happy days. So, do we uh, go have a look around the observatory? Shall us. Shall us? Yes. So no. Well, we're on our way down now. The mist has come right in and it's wet in the air. It's cold. It is cold up there. We watched a documentary about Ben Nevis and they said people don't like to spend long up there and we see why. So we're going to go down and have our G and T's below the cloud, below the zigzags I think. We're going to stop and see how that goes. But we've done it. What an achievement. Eh? Look at us little achievers. Me and Lee. Little achievers. Well, we've been going down for a bit of way now, and it's still misty, still in the cloud. We've passed the zigzags, and uh, 
still any warmer. It might be uh, misty down on the ground for all we know. We'll soon see. Or not. I feel more like a mountain man when I've got my waterproof jacket on and my woolly hat on. I just feel like mountains, you should be maybe not wearing Adidas shorts and the cost white trainers and borrowing your kid's school bag. But what do I know? What do I know about going up mountains? We can hear a helicopter in the background. There's a guy up there that's injured himself in some way. You got a feel for the mountain rescue crew that have just walked all the way up. And it wasn't like a little way up, it was quite a way up. And they've just carried the uh, stretcher up on their back. Lunatics. But providing a vital service, saving people on the mountains in the UK. Anyway, GTs. The grand touring element of our boys on tour. Boys on tour. Someone or nothing. Boys on tour. Another one done. Nice. Another one done. Chase. Ah. Oh. seen a cheeky little shortcut we're taking. Apparently this waterfall behind us here is the halfway point. Let's hope this shortcut's a bit better than the one we took earlier. to lift before he could get up there. We did wonder if the poor blokes would have to carry that chap all the way down there. hasn't been a bad little shortcut and it's going to bring us out right where we took that other shortcut earlier but this probably would have been a better shortcut to come up you live and learn and now here we go time to rejoin the path It's been a long walk down, isn't it, Nate? Longer than most. And it's been a hard walk down. Feeling it in my ankles, and you're feeling it in your knees, aren't you, mate? Yeah. And uh, all my hair fell out as well. Did that, that happen today, did it? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even notice until I just looked in the viewfinder then. Is that, that the first time you've seen yeah. it? Yeah. It's mm. horrendous, isn't it? I mean, it's not, it's not just little bits, it's all gone. <laughs> the lot. Anyway, the mountain. Oh, yeah. What you make it up? Highlight? Uh, peanut and salted caramel uh, <laughs> Nature Valley bar. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was I good. had a peanut bar, it's a different one, but that was nice. But we're going to get off this mountain now, aren't we? Hopefully. This is it, the end. So that's been Ben Nevis, conquered.
That's been our three peaks. Done. done. Uh, that's a new one. Yeah. So thank you ever so much for watching that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And um, yeah, we like to do something else another day. Would you like to hang around and see what we do? See you next time. Something or nothing. Sunday, 9. Be there, be square. Peace.